Hope you're hungry. Don't you move because we have great steak and pesto bruschetta. It's a recipe from the Utah Beef Council. We thought, why not on a Monday? Jennifer Burns puts it all together for us. Thank you so much. Yeah, Jennifer Burns in for Utah Beef Council. And today is another day that I'm super excited to share this recipe because I love appetizers. I love tapas eating. Um, it brings me back to Spain where you just have a lot of different small bites. You, get, you can try so many different things. So I love making appetizers. This is actually a steak, um, a steak and pesto brusch bruschetta. Now you say it however you want to say it. Bruschetta, bruschetta, it's all fine and it's delicious. Right over here, I just pulled out of the oven on my baking sheet what is just some little baguettes. So you wanna kinda of cut them about a quarter of an inch. I've already got some pesto on there, but let me walk you through how to make your own homemade pesto. I did a cilantro pesto. You can use fresh basil in this. You could use spinach. You can use, of course, traditional is parsley um, or even basil. So it all works, but I love the cilantro. What you're gonna do is in a food processor, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. In a food processor, you're gonna put in, like I said, a bunch of, I've got one bunch of cilantro in there. I got in some garlic, some fresh garlic in there, some Parmesan cheese, make sure you're using fresh Parmesan cheese on this one. And then I have some toasted, you can use pine nuts. You can really use any kind of nut and it all works well um, for anything like a walnut or something too. And then you just put in your olive oil and salt and pepper and it's just a delicious pesto. I like to keep it in a mason jar and make extra because it goes so well on so many things. Then you just kind of put a little olive oil and you put that delicious pesto on your baguette slices. I'm gonna put them over here on my platter because I wanna show you how good this looks. Now the star of the show that we're gonna put on the, here is our steak. This is actually um, a New York strip. I just grilled to my desired doneness, which is medium rare. I got a couple. And for the medium rare, uh, then just let it rest and then thinly slice it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, after you've got everything kind of toasted up, everything's warm, um, you're gonna put the slices of steak on to your baguette slices with that pesto. I can't begin to tell you how good this recipe is. I've made it when I've had gatherings a few times. People just really uh, go crazy over this one. So it's a real crowd pleaser. Get that little steak on every bite there. Okay, gonna put that one and that one. Last but not least, we're gonna top it with some fresh tomatoes, that pop of color, that fresh flavor. And it just, oh, this is just, I hope you try this one. This is one of my favorite recipes. I actually wrote this one a few years ago. And uh, like I said, it's just one that I always go to at parties. Utahbeef.org, make sure that you check out that website and lots of good information there. And I hope you try this recipe. Let us know how it turns out for you.